I'll be showing the recently updated notification settings in Microsoft Teams. So I'm here in a team and I'm going to go in the upper right and click on my photo and I'm going to go down to settings right here. Choose this and then we're going to go on the left hand set of options and choose notifications. You're going to see an updated layout. It's been simplified, sort of organized in a more easy to understand way. And I'm just going to walk through each of these. The first one is email. This is when teams will automatically send you an email about activity and chats and other information in teams. So you have a bunch of options here. You can say, Hey, send an email as soon as possible. You can set different time increments, maybe once an hour. I personally like to set it to daily. So I just get a once a, a day digest email, but it's up to you to set this one. Appearance and sound. So when Teams notifies you, you can be getting lots of Teams notifications. You can use the Teams built-in one that fires those little blue um, notifications across the side. You could also choose Windows. So it goes into the Windows Notification Activity Center. So you have that option. A brand new thing that has recently been added, Show Message Preview. This is a really good one if you want to keep privacy. So it could be if I turn this off, that'll mean when I get pinged with messages, it won't show the first couple lines about the message. Maybe you're on a meeting, you're on a call, and all of a sudden private messages are flying by and you're like, oh, I didn't want that to show up. If you turn off the preview, you'll still get the little ding and you'll get the notification. It just won't show the message preview. And then playing sounds for notifications, that's pretty standard. This is nice and organized too now, Teams and Channels. So for Teams and Channels, I could say all activity. I wanna see anything that fires in any channel or team all the time. That's too busy for my liking. You can choose that. You can also set it for mentions and replies. So this is just when I get mentioned myself or replies to my messages. So that tunes it down a little bit. But custom is really nice because then you can choose exactly how you want to get notified on each of these topics. So I've drilled into here. And so personal at mentions, if I get mentioned like Mike Tholfson, sure, let me know. Team mentions. So if it mentions the team, like an at mention on the team, and again, you can choose a few options here. You can turn it off. You could say only show it in the feed. That means a little activity bell or the banner and the feed. So you have the option to say like turn it on or off, banner or banner and feed. Replies to conversations I started. I like this one personally because if I started the conversation, I wanna get notified anytime people are responding to that message that I started. Replies to conversations that I replied to. So if someone else had a conversation in a channel and I replied to it, keep notifying me if that conversation keeps going. Likes and reactions, maybe on this one, like I don't want a banner on that. I only want it to be in my feed, so show it in my activity, but I don't want to get pinged every time there's a like and reaction with a banner notification. Things like suggested, that could be shown in my feed if team suggests it. Maybe I'm going to turn that one off. And trending topics, may I just show that one in my feed. This is another one, shown and pinned channels. And this is important. If I pin a channel, so I pin some of my most favorite channels up in the top in Teams, I have it set so, you know what, if there are posts in those pinned and favorite channels, definitely let me know, including the replies in this case. I've checked that one on. So if it's a favorite channel, I want to pay really close attention to that. And then channel mentions. This is one anytime that a channel is mentioned, so that could be at mentioning a specific channel. Again, show in the banner or the feed. So a lot of custom options for channels and teams right here. Then we walk down to chat. So chat has a set of notification options. I'll hit edit. Uh, so at mentions, this is if I get at mentioned in a chat. That's a great way to get a hold of someone's attention to at mention their name directly. There are replies to a chat, which could just be in this case, again, banner or off. You have two options. Maybe I'll turn this one off and then likes and reactions. So again, I'm gonna say, just show me in the feed. I don't, I don't need a banner notification for likes and reactions. Next one is meetings. This is a pretty important one. The meeting started notification. Oh, this is a really good one. I personally always wanna make sure I get notified if the meeting is started. If I'm distracted somehow, this can help me out. And meeting chat notifications. This one also, you know, mute until I join or send a message. That's a pretty good one because sometimes those meeting chats get pinging quite a bit and I don't want to get all the notifications if I'm not in the meeting yet. Some people might just choose to mute. Hey, you know what? I don't want any of those meeting chat notifications because they're too distracting. So you have that option too. Moving down the list, we have people. And so this lets me track certain people. So in this case, uh, maybe I'm going to track this person here. 
So Misty Ash, I'm going to follow her. You can see in the lower right, Misty Ash is now offline, but I get a status update. So if they're notified, if they're available or offline. So this is kind of nice if you, there's certain people that you really want to make sure you get a hold of. This will let you know if they're online or offline. It's kind of a nice feature. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.